a very good morning to you. How's everybody feeling today? Um, it's Tuesday morning and we are going to make some lovely tennis bracelets. I um, I just read the comments and <laughs> and like it made me laugh because I got a, a story about playing tennis when I was a child. So I started playing tennis when I was about eight, nine years old. My mom got me some lessons. So after the third lesson, basically the coach said to my mom that I'm useless and I should I should give up right now because this is not going to work. But I'll tell you about that later. So how's everybody this morning? Um, it's a fine. <laughs> well, not <laughs> weather is not so fine, but Tuesday morning here. I'm just setting up this little samples of what I made up yesterday. I'm really hoping I got loads of threads over there that they're not gonna knot up. And then you can let me know if you can do that. Make one up in the color what you prefer. I got seven colorways, <laughs> so I couldn't stop myself again. I put seven colorways uh, together. Kitty Hazel clocked her saying that there's no volume. Oh no, she's, now she says she's got it now. We want to make sure that it wasn't just, just how it's sorted now. Sound bizarre with echo. Right, so I am on the, just checking, I'm on the right microphone, so that's fine. I can turn the volume up a tiny bit. And that she should said, come to you volume now for you. <laughs> a little bit louder. So that's that should I know technology, right? I uh, just like every single time we go live. Like I, I was talking to somebody um on a message over yesterday. Um these guys they are all about live streaming and they're all about like YouTube and Facebook and all sorts of that stuff. They are really clever and they the expert to ask any question if something goes wrong and because last night i was doing the creation station and things were going a little bit pear shaped and um youtube was kicking me off and i had to go back on and then kick me off again because off my microphone that uh, for some reason it didn't um, find it and then when we came back with the microphone it switched to the built-in microphone in the laptop and then you were all hearing that hissing sounds <laughs> probably thinking I got snakes in the room by heaven so um, so I went to ask them and they, they said like is there a checklist I can have so before I go live I could just check like microphone is working laptop is working this is working that that is a checklist and he said to me like oh yeah there is a checklist but it's no point to check the checklist because if you, if you check the checklist and everything is going to be good and it's showing everything good you go live and it's like it just disappears just things just happen so he said the uh, best thing to do is just keep an eye out and just like try to roll with it so that's that's what i decided i'm doing so if anything happens with the sand we're just going to try to roll with it right tennis bracelets i'm going to turn you down and show you all the lovely samples and all the lovely color base i came up um so I put two color vase together. Let, let me just turn you down and I'll show you straight away. And actually, let me just very quickly look at the comments because um, the, Chris is saying it's a rainy and grain set. Well, oh, <laughs> Sazane is saying, sorry, cat walked over a keyboard. I don't know, <laughs> our, our Sydney started to come back and she's she goes around in circles. So some days she's with me, some days she's with Victoria, then she goes and sits with... Uh, Lucy and she started to come back to me so when I come down in the morning sometimes on my this really white sheet here um, I know she's been laying there overnight because I find loads of cat hairs and I have to sort of very quickly clean it off that's why I got a permanent um, I don't know what they call it lint cleaners here now on my desk um, the sound has an echo because the video was playing on Facebook as well maybe I'm not sure um, but it's all a learning curve. I'm trying to find everything out and making everything good. Um, Katrina is saying sunny in London. Um, just very quickly, I love the weather updates. That's my favorite part of the whole thing. I th I'm, I'm debating that when I move back into the office that I'm going to set up a webcam, uh, a weather cam, so we can have one just sort of looking at the window. So very quickly, I can show you how's the weather here. Jodie's asked about the history about the tennis bracelet. I've got Leland here as well, so you, <laughs> that's what you can hear that she's talking. Yes, tennis bracelet. So it was Chris, what was the surname, Leanne? Everett. Everett. I always want to say Evans, but it's not Evans. Chris Everett. She was a famous tennis player in the USA in the 1980s. And I thought it was going back to the 1930s because that's what... Um, I don't know, for some reason, that's how I remembered it. And she wore a 
diamond bracelet playing tennis and this was one of the major games that she was playing and her tennis bracelet basically is fallen off <laughs> during playing this match and they had to stop the whole match they have to pause everything until they found her bracelet and since then um it's sort of become a thing that like um if it's, it's a certain style of bracelet so with one row beads in the middle and then you can have certain beads on the side as well there is nothing on the top of it so it's quite simple quite flat bracelet and they call it a tennis bracelet because of her so it was Chris Abbott who <laughs> who's um whose bracelet fallen off during a very important match in 1987 I think it was mm -hmm. we, we had we had to double check it this morning right let me um turn you down and i'll show you the lovely samples all the colorways what i came up with so down we go so let me just zoom in a little bit oh too much too much too much too much phone too much back out back out that that's it that's the result so the tennis spritz that you're gonna make is this so it's got a lovely hematite beads in the middle and I have probably this one is not the best color um, it's a really like a very light rose pink color and we got a very light sort of rose pink size 8 seed beads in between now a really easy technique grows re very very quickly so I can make one of these bracelets I guess if I stop talking and I just concentrate on a bracelet within half an hour so that's really good time for a stitch um, for a stitch bracelet itself i when i make like tennis bracelets like this i like to do them on toggles because um they sort of got a little bit of a give and take in them and i like to make them a tiny bit bigger than what my wrist would need because if you are playing <laughs> any sports i mean i'm not gonna play sports that's not the whole whole main thing here and i couldn't play tennis to save my life but um you want it to be have a little bit of flexibility in it and let me just pop this on i'm just going to pull this through so a really really easy mix so what i did i put some color sort of bundles together on the website for you and one bundle let me actually show you the website very quickly just pull this across and we just share my screen there we go so if you go onto our website um facebook tutorials on the left hand side or the the big button at the top you come to our main screen now here going back to march we've got loads and loads of different tutorials tennis bracelets today with hematite beads and bicones and i put together seven different colorways because um you have so many beads on a six mil hematite um, strand you could make um, many bracelets with them oh why is this so big and I just get what is this screen doing here let me just get rid of this that's it it's gone Kitty, Good. Um, Dorothy Clark was asking is this stitch on any of the USBs so this is very similar to I think we did maybe USB 2 I think we have got a similar stitch we're using different beads so the key to any stitch like this is to work out the right uh, size of beads to go together because if like the these on the sides are too small then the whole thing is gonna pucker if these on the sides are too big then it's gonna pull it apart so the whole key to something like this is working the right um, the right size of beads what you're going to be putting together right with this one so you get two strands of the hematite um, beads two four strands so this is a, well for example this one has got a lighter blue and a darker blue in it you do get four strands of the crystal so two strands of the lighter blue and four uh, two strands of the darker blue four strands together you get a whole bag of the lighter blue beads and a whole bag of the darker blue size eight beads and um, each pack will make you four bracelets you also get the clasp in there as well um, if you wanted to um, 
actually properly I could get five or six out of it but uh, we just want it to be on the safe side but you could add extra clasp on there if you like so I'm just gonna pop back and all that's all the different colorways we get so we got um, a blue one we got uh, a bronzy one we got um, I told um, Molly all the names this morning I thought of it um, all together and now I sort of forget it I'm putting on myself on a spotlight um, but we, I'll go I'll turn you down and show you the samples and then I can tell you um, all the, the different names so this one is called pink rainbow um, with this one we're using you got a lighter pink there and a darker pink um, collection in there as well but because you can make so many bracelets from the kit um, what I want what that's why I wanted to put the two color together because you can make one bracelet like this you can make one bracelet like this you can make a third place through it using the darker hematite beads but with the lighter crystals and like you know deciding what seed beads you want to do so you can have four very unique uh, brace or more for <laughs> very unique bracelets there so that's that one this is the blue which I showed you but I just love one of them is quite dark the other one is a lighter blue again you can make one like that one like that and then number three and number four can be a mixture of them so using the darker crystals with the lighter ones moving on to the next one this one is let me just pop this on this hand and Easy. actually quickly we're going to look at the name of this yes yeah quick question from Jodie she's saying she likes your nails this morning and what color polish do you have um i have no idea what color i think they 156 or something like that called this is um diamond nails i think it's called this brand it's just a um just a gel gel one but this is called golden bronze i love this one because like see with the bronze i put this orange um crystals in there but overall the orange doesn't come through it just shows you quite a warm color it doesn't overpower even though using orange crystal doesn't overpower your bracelet so i really do love to put sometimes a bright color in the bracelets and it just becomes a really nice and warm bracelet look at the sparkle you get of that i just love it so that's that one very quickly going moving on to the green it's i, I got all the, <laughs> the ends of the um threads there because I'm going to finish these later on so this one is the green olive we called it one of them is more greeny the other one is more sort of olivey color um, again you could make one like that one like that and then you can start mixing them and really make some unique patterns I love the next one this one we called golden teal I think let me just double check it very very quickly golden teal that's it so this one one of them is more sort of a gold goldy color and the other one is a light color again but we, because it has got the teal seed beads it really takes it into a totally different direction so i do love this they both got like a gold shimmer about them i don't know if the camera picks that up but um they're quite um a nice color next one is this silver champagne i love this one as well this one is more i guess um sort of traditional more um the silver would go with everything and this they've got bronze and champagne crystals on there i really do love this colorway as well i'm definitely gonna make one of this one up for myself love we just let me just bring again yeah, would you be able to shut the door hand I just realized that the door is open and I can hear Victoria coming and going. She's probably going to the kitchen to get some breakfast. And last but not least, we got the purple ones, the purple rainbow. Now, I love this one as well. Again, you got two very different purples in here. This one is more sort of an amethystic color, so more like an aubergine color with your purple plate hematite this one is the rainbow plate hematite and i added more of a sort of a cooler tone because these crystals are blue electric blue so again fusing like blues into the purple it makes it like a cooler tone and i really love this one as well so 
which one do you want me to demo with? And I know I should have said to you, like, make a note which one you want me to demo with, but do let me know. So we got the pinks. I um, already made one up in the light pink, and I don't think this one shows up very well. So we got the pinks. We got the blues, we got the orange bronze, or orange gold, let's call this. We got the green. I'm really hoping all these threads are not going to get caught up later on. <laughs> on but I'll be all right. I just thought that the teal. We got the golden teal. We got the silver champagne and we got the purple rainbow. So do let me know which one do you like the best. Let us sing, I love the more silver champagne. So that silver champagne is uh, is their rainbow. So I guess that's the purple rainbow. Silver champagne. You liking the silver champagne? Blue. Luda saying, my miracle beads arrived today. Oh, delivery is on the way. Woohoo. Um, orange bronze. One for that. Another one for the blue. Silver champagne. Another one for the blue. Teal and silver. Teal. Pink. I think we got the blue. Blues. <laughs> one you are waving up, please. I'm waving at all of them. Blue. I think the blue is winning. Look, that's all the way down here. Purple rainbow. Um, I, I think we're going to have the orange. I think one of purple champagne. Purple or champagne? That's purple and that's champagne. I think we're going to have to go with the blue. That's the one which has made it all the way down on the on the screen. So now, <laughs> but which one is going to show up better? I think the light blue will show up nicely on the screen. Yeah? Or the darker one? No, the lighter one I think will show up nicer. So just give me one sec. Let me pull all these back up very carefully so I don't... Um, mess up my threads just here and I'm gonna get the blue we're gonna make the blue one up pale blue light yes that's all you're saying that's great and I'm gonna get the beads out for this it's all on my little so this is what I do when I work out and when I was working out the colors I just had them on, on different um, trays so I didn't mix them up and then after I finish the video I'm gonna tidy my trays are white, like light blue. So for a bracelet, for my wrist, I need about 24, 25 of the hematite beads. Um, 25 is nice and loose. 24 is a little bit more tighter on me, but um, still, still good. Um, I think I should have counted exactly how many beads on here. I think it was 70 odd beads. If I count this now, then I know when I finish that stand, I'm going to be at the right place. So there's 70 odd beads on the six millimeter hematite. So you know you have got, just double check, five, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to do 25. Because I know once they're gone, I, I got the right length of my bracelet and I don't have to very bad keep counting it again and again. So it's going to take my crystals off as well. So we're going to start with the crystals and the hematite beads as well. So the crystals, by the way, are four millimeter in size and the hematite, well, no, the, no, the crystals are five millimeter. Why am I saying four millimeter? The crystals are five millimeter in size. I, I had the next sort of sentence in my head as well what I wanted to say so crystals are five millimeter bicon beads the hematite beads are six millimeter now I have tried the pattern with four millimeter crystals and it's pulled it together too much it was like pucker, puckering too much so you must need the five millimeter crystals with this is this like last night when we were, I don't know if any of you seen the creation station on mine, and we were making a ring, <laughs> which is here, and these four millimeter beads weren't quite four millimeter, they're a little bit bigger, so the whole thing didn't really um, take. And what happened, I wore it all night, I put it on last night and I was wearing it, 
and sometime in the night I must have broke the, the ring so this is gonna have to be a remake but um, hey ho so six millimeter hematite five millimeter bicon beads and size eight seed beads, but we're not going to need them until later on. Right, I'm just going to grab some thread. I'm going to use a couple of arm spam on this, but at the same time, I am going to leave my bobbin on there so I can come back, um, come back later on and take more thread off just in case if I need to. Just quickly thread that needle. Leanne, no, the kids doesn't make three bracelets. The kids make up to six bracelets because you put the colors together lovely. Oh, sorry, I'm on a mistake right oh, now. Leanne, Leanne is telling you porcupine. Sorry. I, and I, I think it needs to be changed in the descriptions as well. Yeah. So um, you have got four clasps in there and I think um, you get four toggle clasps in with your kit. That's even better. I'm just gonna pop all this there. If you, that's why I said one colorway make you about three bracelets, but two because we added two colorways together, so you get the light one and the dark one in there. Wow. It's gonna make doubling. You you doubling. So I'm gonna pick up a. Let me just zoom in a little bit more, so you can see. Come in. So will you be able to change that on the website as well, lovely. Mm -hmm. So the pattern I picked up, I picked up one hematite bead, one crystal, one hematite, one crystal. And then I'm just going to go through this hematite bead again. Now if we could start straight away, actually let's add the one side, the clasp on as well straight away. So I'm going to need some seed beads just to do the end here. I like to start with a section like this. So I got my first section before I add my clasp, but you could go along and add your clasp straight away. So I'm gonna pick up two seed beads. I'm gonna pick up a crystal. I'm gonna pick up another two seed beads. So two seed bead, crystal, two seed bead. I'm gonna go through the loop on my clasp. Take this all the way down. Then I'm going to pick up a further seed bead. I'm going to disregard the loop on the clasp and the first seed bead and just come back through the second seed bead and the crystal. And then I think I have a four, loads of four millimeter crystal. Is there a way of using those? Yes, you could. You probably would have to um, that your bead in the middle would have to be a little bit smaller, but do experiment. And if you, I'm just picking up another two seed beads and see as my toggle is attached to this side of the six millimeter bead here, I'm gonna come through from the other side. So I'm forming a right little loop. So from the tail end, just like that. And I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. So those beads are just going to sit on the top of it. So I got the clasp on straight away at the start of my bracelet. Then would you mind to get the door, honey? I think we got a delivery. <laughs> it's all going off this morning. Let me just pull those out of the way so you can see them better, what I'm doing. Right, so add further beads. I'm going to go along the crystal and through the hematite bead and pull this up and I'm going to pick up the following. I'm going to pick up one crystal, one hematite, one crystal and as I am exiting the hematite bead that way I'm going to come from the other side and pull that through. So just adding a little loop to the top. Then again, I'm going to come 
through I'm just following my thread path around the ones one I created I'm gonna come through the next crystal and the hematite beads to be in position to add my next loops and pull this up nice and tight I think I got a little got myself in a little knot in the end, so I'm very quickly gonna undo this and I'm not gonna force it through because if you force if your thread started to knot and you force it through the bead, you know what's gonna happen. It's either gonna break or it's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go pear shape. So just undone that little knot. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna pull this tight. Vicky, what size needling is that that you're using? Sorry, darling. Somebody was asking what size needle. The needle is size 10. So I always use size 10 needle. Again, I'm picking up the same, a crystal, a hematite, a crystal, and I'm exiting this way. So I'm gonna come through from the other side to make my next loop. And I pull this up nice and tight. I'm gonna let the end go now because I got sort of a little beading to hold on to here. Going through the crystal, let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it better. Going through the crystal and then going through the hematite. And I'm going to repeat. So picking up a crystal, hematite, crystal. Coming through from the back pulling it through, forming the next loop. And this is what you're gonna do all the way down. And again, I'm going through the crystal and the hematite. And then repeating it again, crystal, miracle, crystal. I'm exiting that way, so I'm coming through this side. I do like to flip flop my work. I'm Lucy saying looks beautiful with the hematite. Yes, I love it too. So when I was looking at this to do, I love making bracelets like, like this. And um, actually Jo was telling me last night that she, she made like three of them with different versions because they are really quick to make um, in terms of a stitch bracelet. And I think, you know, you can get really great results and your materials do go quite far. So with one kit, you got four clasps in there and you're gonna make four bracelets but if you got extra clasps there you're gonna get more out of it because I could I think I could and I could make three six six bracelets out of a color wise so I'm just gonna keep adding this until all I get all the way down Making sure that tail doesn't come undone. I counted my beads out, so I'm going to use 25 of these beads, and that's my size. Your bracelet, once you bead all the way down and you run up on one side and you run down on the other side, you will see your bracelet is going to be slightly smaller. So do probably about 10% I guess so if you measure it to your wrist like this always taking an account that once we have the seed bead it's sort of gonna pull it in and close those gaps Oh, Liz is saying, oh, Joe is saying I'm wearing one now with miracle beads and fibers, miracle beads, of course. I wouldn't expect it anything less from you, Joe, but miracle beads. Actually, let me just add the, um, where is my, one second. Um, I wouldn't expect it anything less from you. Um, Done to have to, done to use miracle beads at all, and then Lucy's saying this was the first ever stitch she learned. First ever bracelet. Oh, Carol's saying, What a surprise, Joe! Miracle beads. <laughs> I was talking to Sarah yesterday on FaceTime, and um, 
And like I, I love Miracle Beats. I, I'm like you, Joe. I really do love them. I think they're so good for so many different projects. And like Sarah is not so much favoring them. I think we all have our favorites. I love them. And um, yeah, so I'm with you, Joe. Leanne's saying she loves them too. Um, Jen is saying, Dorothy Clark, it looks like we are heading into total lockdown. Or Joe's saying, Stim here is still my favorite. That's the Miracle Beads. Did you get your hands on some of the angels, Joe, yesterday? I bet you did. They were so good. Whoever come up with the idea of miracle beads or whoever like designed or whoever like made them is a really really clever person I think because they look fabulous I'm just adding them all as I go along just um oh can you pull to the center please I'm so sorry you 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 keep me straight Jodie I'm concentrating so much doing the beading and because like I'm on the table so what I usually do so I'll add this here and the bottom so what I usually do as I'm doing this I'm pulling it towards me and towards me and towards me so I can see it better here and then I keep forgetting that it's going off screen for you right and then I'm coming through that crystal and the hematite bead to be able to add further beads, they're very, very easy. So it's a right angle bead base. You're gonna run up adding all your crystals and your hematite beads. And then we did this with fire polished and um, I think it was called Lydia. We had another kit on there. We did it with fire polished beads and um, Pearls, I think it was. Right, so I'm just going to keep going until I get to the end. Kitty Jane, um, Declan was just asking about one of the videos from last night. Is you watching the YouTube from a video yesterday that you were making some rings? I only saw where you had to come off Facebook and video in the YouTube in youtube to make the ring i can't find the video where you make them right i'll um i pop a post on my with the link on my um my page later on today so the ring we were making yesterday was this one and i didn't um i quite like it but we run into the problem that these beads were slightly bigger than four mil so it's puckered the ring too much it's it's it's, uh, it's sort of stood up too proud i did use fine line for this and i usually uh, i like my threads so I, I use my threads but um i was wearing it last night so i finished it last night and i put it on and i was wearing it to bed and when i woke up this morning i realized that that my fine line is broke there so i have to go in and um repair this later on and then i'm going to be wearing it i want to test that um how long a fire line <laughs> is going to last i'm not going to i'm not going to take um this first night that is broke as a, a as a test because it should last much 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 longer than that but i want to test how long is thread my super long thread gonna last as a ring and how long is the fine line gonna last as a ring i think i perhaps made that a little bit too small and the top section is a little bit too wide so overall i'm not too happy with it so i'm gonna i'm gonna take it apart and um i either repair it and i make another one in the right size or i'm gonna take it apart completely and start again with that one Jody's saying, question wonder to another time, history of the hematite beads, you seem to use them often. Yes, I love hematite beads. Uh, Joey's my top favorite types, miracle beads, hematite beads, fire polished. Yes, me too as well. Um, 
So hematite beads are a mined mineral. They got a really high content of iron. So that's why they can magnetize them. And we did a bracelet quite a while back, which is the magnetic hematite bracelets, where you just make one long strip and then it's sort of, they click together. Oh my, so is that they click together and they hold together on like wrap it around your wrist. So that was a really a great one to do. And um, yeah, I love them. They, they mine them, they shape them, they polish them. And like years and years ago, so probably going back, oh, I don't know, 15, 17, 15 years, um, you were only able to buy hematite in the gray color, which is which now it's called hematite gray. So naturally hematite is I'm probably not going to have anything here which is hematite color because I keep I love using the colored ones. So naturally hematite is a gray color. And what they do, they do exactly the same. They, they make the beads and they put them to exactly the same procedure as they put crystals through. So they give them this really special coating. There is a couple of ways they do it. The electroplating one is probably the best. They do electroplating and they do vacuum plating. So that's the two different um, ways how they make them all of these different colors. And so underneath the plating, you have that lovely gray hematite color. I I don't know, there is a lot of, um, if you're into your crystal healing and that sort of stuff, a lot of people saying that hematite is cleansing the blood, so it's a really good one to, to have um, on myself. I'm not, I, I don't know, to be honest, it's quite, um, I, I don't, I, I neither believe or not believe it, I'm just like, I don't know, I don't really know, because um, all this natural healing I think there is things, there is truth to it, but um, I don't know. I just, I, I'm sitting on the fence with it, I guess, because I do like, if I have a cold, I would, um, I would drink a lot of chamomile tea, which like herbal teas, like really, like does help you. But um, if I, if I was really sick, then I would go to the doctor and get good old medicine. Oh, I need to go through the hematite as well. So I'm just adding my last one on there. Um, could you see my favorite hematite is rainbow coated. So that's this one that's in the purple bundle. So that's the, no, yes, that's the rainbow one. And then we have the purple one in there as well. Um, I love them all. My my, I do I do love this new blue, this really pale blue. But my favorite one is still the blue plating. I'm a blue girl, you know. I'm a blue girl. But with this blue one, you could take it because of that plating has got a slightly little hint of sort of like a haze of aqua or turquoise around it. You could use it with turquoise and aqua beads as well. And equally, would look as good as blue. But then if I, it depends which one I'm working with, I have to be honest, because if I'm working with <laughs> with that one, then I love that one. If I'm working with, I love, I love this sort of color combination as well, the bronze with uh, a champagne and a tiny bit of pink in there, or rose gold. Kitty Mina is asking, can she use rondelles in this? Um, where would you want to put the rondelle? It's all about sizing. So all of this pattern is about sizing. And we have done right angle weave and modified right angle weave with all sorts of different bracelets. So it's not just the different size of beads. So um, you could, you need to experiment. What you need to make sure, just, so this is the bracelet. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole of it. So this is the bracelet that I made and look at the size of that but I picked up exactly the same beads as I picked up on this bracelet and if I put this down next to it you can see how much this is shorter because once we're going to add the side beads going all the way down and coming back up it's going to pull your pattern together so if you are measuring your bracelet like this bear in mind that it's going to be probably an inch shorter by the time you finish um, work out like you know have a little tester piece because there's a lot of give and take in this um 
in this design because as you can see we are once we're pulling the the beads together with a size eight we got sort of an inch to an inch give and take in a whole bracelet so i tried it with four millimeter crystals and it's for me it didn't look right it was just the crystals were too small and once when they pulled it together they pulled it pulled these six millimeter beads right on top of each other and if you using the right size you can see there should be a tiny gap between the beads so that you know you're using the right size with your middle bead so choose a middle bead whatever you would like to use and then pick one to put on a side and once you add your size it seed beads in there you should just see a tiny little gap a tiny little gap between those middle beads if the gap is too big then you know that your it still works but then then you know it's too see-through so probably I could get away adding a size six seed bead in there but I uh, I just like to I like those middle row to sit right next to each other in a row so the thread paths are not showing too much right I got right to the end and what I'm gonna do before I turn around and run down on the side I'm gonna add the other side of my class so as I'm here in this bead I just added those beads I'm gonna weave my stuff to the end so I'm coming out of the very last hematite bead I'm gonna pick up two seed beads I'm gonna pick up no I'm not gonna pick that one up yet I'm jumping ahead <laughs> I'm gonna keep pick up two seed beads I'm gonna pick up one of the crystal beads and then I'm gonna pick up another two seed beads and then I'm gonna go through there the loop on my class so just to recap I picked up two seed beads I picked up a bike on another two seed beads I went through the loop on the class and I'm gonna pick up another seed bead I'm gonna disregard the loop and one seed bead and come back through the second bead, seed bead before the crystal and the crystal itself and I'm gonna pull this up nice and tight so it sits on the top of my bracelet there I'm going to pick up another two seed beads and see as I'm exiting out of one side of that um, hematite bead, I almost said miracle bead, <laughs> um, exiting one side of the um, hematite bead, I'm going to come through from the other, completing that loop and adding that end onto it. Now what I do at this point, I'm going to go back up and reinforce this and I'm going to come back down on the other side and I'm going to stop just as I'm coming out of that two seed beads. So just taking the thread back all the way to the top. Kitty Lucy said, lovely tutorial and gorgeous kits today. Thank you so much, Kitty. Oh, you're welcome. And I'm coming back down on the other side and I'm gonna stop just by the two seed beads and for him it's really really easy what you need to do you're gonna you don't need any more crystals I'm gonna just push them out you don't need anything else just a few seed beads we're gonna need a few more than that so let's put more out of the bag I'm gonna pick up a seed bead and go through the crystal pick up another seed bead and go through the crystal Pick up another seed bead and go to the next crystal and all the way down. And as I'm adding it and pulling it tight, I'm going to show you at the end how much it sort of pulls it together. Now, if you made a pattern like this and on one side, for example, you added size 11 and on the other side, you added size 6 seed beads, you would create a natural curve and that would be great for a necklace or just the front piece of a necklace. But I'm going to run all the way down, adding all these beads. all the way down
Right, so just to clarify, on the website we put together the kits for you. So each one of those bundles you get two different colors of the six millimeter hematite round bead. So in this blue one you're going to get this lighter blue and you're going to get this darker blue as well. And then you're going to get four strands of crystals. So you're going to get two strands of the lighter blue and two strands of the darker blue. And you are going to get um, one bag of the lighter color seed beads and one bag of the darker color seed beads. Now this is enough for about, well, definitely for four bracelets. I, I, I probably would be able to squeeze out four bracelets out of it. But if you are, if you are, well, let's put it this way. So if you are my wrist size, then you will aim for four. If you Sarah's wrist size, then you're gonna, you probably have enough materials there to make six. So it's depending. Right, I got all the way to the end on one side. Actually, let me just put this down and show you. So without pulling this tight, you can see how big is that bracelet. And now if I pull my beads up, can you see how much that bracelet is moving in? And now if I come back on the other side and added size six seed beads here, that would create a natural curve and you could have a nice necklace. Obviously I would make it longer, but that's the, the way, that's like sort of or size 11s and then it would pull it to the other side. Um, so very, that this is what I love about this pattern. It's very versatile. So if I went back and added size 11 on this side, it would pull it into a um, nice curved shape. I'm gonna go back and add the size eight, which is in the bundle. But I just wanted to tell you just in case. So you know, there is so many ways you can take this pattern further and do so many different things with it. So I'm just following the thread path around my clasp here. I'm gonna come back down and as I'm coming out of these two seed beads, I'm gonna pick up a seed bead and go to the next crystal and run back down on this side of my bracelet. Yes, the kits are gonna be uh, including instructions as well, lovely. <laughs> And all the way down, I'm just gonna run down. And and on the top of things, <laughs> Simon has given us 20% off on the kits, which is valid until the weekend. Just going all the way down. If you are Sarah's size wrist, then you want to add, or you might even have a couple of extra toggle clasps at home, because you will be able to make more done four bracelets out of the kit. So you one might want to add a couple of extra, like an extra bag of toggle clasp on there. And going all the way down. Just adding. Catherine is saying your tutorials are so amazing and so easy to follow with instructions. Huge thanks. This is so stunning and my favorite hematite too. Yes, I just, when I, you, you see, you look at a particular technique or a particular pattern and um, making it with different beads is going to give you a total different look as well. And using different colors or using different finish, using a shiny bead with a matte, seed bead, matte bead will give you a different look as well. So I love this one because it's really quick and you can very quickly, you run up and down and you can create a lovely, a lovely pattern and very easy, easy and quick one to make as well. Perfect for beginners. Um, but but really good for more experienced ones as well because sometimes even though like I've been beading for 15 years and uh, or longer than that actually I've been beading for a long long time but sometimes I just like to sit down and do something like like this and do it over and over again so I would make five or six bracelets it's like the tea the candle holders I made quite a few of them because I know what I'm doing I know where I need to go and I just I just sit there and just sort of enjoy the make I don't have to um, sort of pick up a pattern all the time and follow the pattern after you make a bracelet up you know what you're gonna do 
and then you can just sort of enjoy the making and just sit there so i got right to the end all is it left to do is to um, knot my thread off now i do like to you know me i double run the <laughs> run down on the side just one more time because i got a really long thread here and i always like to reinforce my thread and i'm just going to get to if i run down i will get to my tail end and then i can uh, knot my beginning and end together i could have done that at the beginning as well to give me a really nice and firm foundation as i'm working with larger beads here with larger holes so even the hole goes into inside the bead i will still be able to go through it further like, later on kitty jody is asking do all the kits have um, instructions because there was a kit that she had that didn't am i right in saying that if it's on the Facebook lives or if there's videos then they don't or... so sometimes we do add um, instructions in there sometimes we don't depending on what we're doing so today's ones it's different from what we did before so and this one we, we you will have an instructions with it and um, sometimes if you're making something easy like yesterday the angels they don't really need much instructions so your facebook live is the instructions or sometimes when like sarah made her wrapped rings um there is nothing really much to the technique so your facebook live is like sufficient enough to follow if i feel something like this but you might need a little bit more guidance then we put an instruction together and send it out with the kids i just love uh, I, I love this one because it's so easy anyway but th there is one for this one i'm just running all the way down oh no i'm not running down what am i doing I'm chatting and I'm distracting my own self. Let's just back up. I'm just going to back up here to where my tail is. And I'm going to knot my tail and my thread together. That, that's what I wanted to do. I'm just going to do a normal knot on there. Normal square knot. Left over right, then right over left. And then pull this up. And I'm just going to weave my end in. I'm just going to take it through a few more beads on the side here. You can also do a half hitch knot. So if you knotted your thread together at the beginning and you don't want to knot it together anymore, then you can do a half hitch knot by... I'm just going to go under these beads. I'm not um, going through any beads. I just went under to catch those thread puffs. I get that tail out of the way. And I'm, as I'm pulling this up, you can see this little loop forming. I'm going to go to this loop again. And then as I'm pulling this tight, you can see there's a little knot it's going to form right there and that will secure your thread down and, and you can weave your thread what, whichever way you want to weave it you can cross over to the other side just to work your tail off and then you can trim it i'm just going to run down through a few beads here just like that and cut that end Get rid of that i'm going to just cut the bobbin off and put my needle to this and just do the same thing so never cut your thread off right next to your knot you always want to take it through a few more beads so this was knotted together with our thread i'm going to pull so i'm going to i pull this through so i'm pulling imagine that knot inside can you see i pulled that knot probably you can't really see that that more anymore i pulled that knot right inside that hematite bead so i want i won't even be able to see my knot and i'm just going to run down on this side let's do a half inch knot here as well just like that Pull this up and go to the next few. And the next few again, and then just cut the end off. That's it. And then I can wear it and put it on. I like this color. I like this light blue. This will go with jeans. And I got a lot of a lot of light blue colors. So that's 25 beads, which I'm gonna tell you. 
because I got, I got a ruler here. <laughs> I, I purchased this ruler and I said to them that nobody's allowed to take this ruler out of my craft room or away from my desk. Because Christopher is a little mink for that. He's always nicking my rulers. So this one is 20 centimeters long or uh, that will be eight inches, eight inches long. So that will make three of them just like that. Or if you wanted to make them bigger, then it will make one colorway will make you two. But in a bundle, there is two colorway, don't forget. So if you want to make anything smaller than that, then you will be able to make more than that. I really do love it. Um, Brenda is saying it's definitely worth the time to go through all the threads again. I do it all the time because since my children were little, I always used to... Um, we picked Christopher up. The first thing he would have done is pulled my necklace or pulled my bracelet or like, you know, I, I even years and years ago, I had this, well, he was very small. He was only about one and a half. Um, I had this Shambhala earrings and Shambhala bead earrings, you know, the ones with the little crystals all around it. And I'm, I'm a little mink because at night time I go to bed and I forget that my earrings are still on and um, I just taking them off and put them on the night table so he was just the back sort of walking around and we were in the bedroom and I just heard this crunching sound and I didn't know what it was and the same thing it's like you know when your cat chokes or, or, or like dogs like chewing on something and that sound is like that like it really freaks you out what's happening so he was <laughs> he was trying to chew on my earrings and um he didn't go down well i guess because he's pretty bad but um yeah he was a little mink pulling pushing everything right so this is the blue one what we just made so this is the lighter color with it don't forget in the bundle you get darker colors as well so just to recap you get two strands of the the hematite beads themselves and then so you get the lighter strand what we have so obviously i used some of these beads already so that's just um over half a strand and the darker blue one is here and then you're gonna have four strands of the crystals so i got two of the darker blue one here and the lighter blue is i uh, taken them off the the strand and you also get a bag of the lighter color seed beads and you get a bag of the dark color seed beads as well to go in with your kit. You can mix and match how you use them. So just because I put the lighter one with the lighter colors, that doesn't mean you have to use it that way. You can use a darker one with the lighter colors and vice versa. So those are the blues. I love the blues as well. Let me just very quickly show you to sum it up. That's the pink rainbow where you got a lighter pink and the darker pink as well. But again, you can mix and match them. What I love about these that they has got, even though it's pink, they got a tiny bit of teal in them, um, like a teal green, a turquoise green, um, like a shimmer of them. Then we got the, again, what we call this, Molly. <laughs> we just named them, yes, like this morning. It's like, oh, that looks really good. Um, and I don't want to tell you the wrong one. So golden bronze, that's it. So this is the golden bronze. Um, you got a gold colorway and the bronze um, colorway of the hematite six millimeter with the crystals, the gold crystals. And then you have got like this really nice orange color crystals. They are really, really sparkly. Then moving on, we got the green olive. Um, one of them is gonna be a bit more green. The other one is a bit more, this is um, green gold actually, what's the crystal and the hematite called here. Um, again, very nice colorway moving on to the next one and this was this was the golden teal again I'm, I'm really conscious that because that that this is just sort of getting all knotted up here so i have to pull them apart very um carefully once i finish life here golden teal again a really nice color white. i love this golden color because it's using clear ab crystals so it's much lighter lighter in color and it's a champagne gold hematite bead with it and I love this tealy color as well next one is the silver champagne which is using the bronze and the silver hematite with champagne and silver seed beads I added a, lot, a bit darker um, seed beads with a silver one so I think like you know more like a, um, a hematite color but a matte a matte finish so i think that will turn out really good as well and last but not least 
is the purple rainbow. So you got the purple hematite here and the rainbow hematite here. One of them is more of an aubergine color. The other one we given like sort of a bluey, a cooler uh, a tint to it. So that's it really. Those, those are the colorways. Those are your seven colorways on the website. Let me just come back to myself. That's it. Those are the uh, seven colorways on the website. Do check them out. Link is in the description above. Um, do sh uh, please sh like and share our videos if you enjoy what you're making to share it with your friends so we can get everybody in the lovely crafty making gimmick, especially something like this. It's such nice beginners projects that anybody can do it. Um, so you're saying lovely demo. Thank you. Kitty raining here um, today in North Devon. <laughs> it's a good day for beading and crafting. Absolutely. The sun came out here, but it looks like very windy out there. So um, I'm not going out today. I'm going to stay in. Um, Camille is saying thank you, Kitty. Another great tutorial. Have a lovely day, fellow beaders. Um, love this pattern. We'll be trying this later. Carol is saying. Um, joke, joke is saying, thank you, Kitty. Have a nice day. Um, Elizabeth saying, morning, everybody. Ollie managed to catch the last 20 minutes today, but it is a beautiful bracelet. We'll watch the whole tutorial later. Thanks, Kitty, for a great weekend. And Jenny is saying, thank you, Kitty. A lovely demo. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, this is saying thank you all of you saying thank you. Yeah, so that's it for me today Do check out the website because the offer Simon has given us a lovely offer of 20% off. It's only gonna be there I think he said until Sunday. So um, Yeah, you get everything in a bundle. Don't forget in one bundle you get two colorways So it makes loads and loads of bracelets perfect for Christmas perfect for stocking fillers or friends or family or neighbors or colleagues um somebody just to share them up with a little brace that's really comfortable to wear as well because it's quite flat brandy's saying she made one while watching oh bless you lovely you have to put a picture up in the totally handmade group so we can all see that one right have a great day everybody i'll see you actually oh, <laughs> whenever i see you next i'm not seeing you until sunday night on mine um, but I do my little weekly chats on Kitty Robinson Designs or Monday morning I will be back here. Monday night I will be on Creation Station again. We will play around with the ring or I would like to move in and I would actually would like to do a bauble or something. Um, so I haven't quite decided what I'm doing on Monday night yet but um, it's sort of, we, we just do how we feel. That's how we roll on Creation Station I guess. And um, those of you in a beat club, uh, is Sarah's week, so she will be teaching on Thursday and um, Friday morning, but I will be in the background, so I will be there answering any questions if you have, and actually I'm, I, I really need to make one of those, um, I want to make another wreath, so I really need to make poinsettias as well. So if you are... Um, if you want to, there is still time to get in the Beat Club fun. Um, we do it over Zoom, so it's a really nice environment for everybody. Um, Leanne, can you just pop the link up for the Beat Club as well? Uh, I don't think there is any spaces on the Thursday one, but there's still spaces on the Friday morning one. But do have a look because I might be wrong. Um, we're going to make a lovely poinsettia flowers uh, this week. Next week, we are going to do the Chanel stitch in there. So each week, we are taking something different and just learning a different stitch. You can you can join it just as a one-off class, or you can join it um, like a member, and then that's guarantee your place every single week in the class. So do have... No, that's not the right link, lovely. Um, it's not come out right. I'll find it out. Oh, she's gonna put she's gonna she's gonna don't click on that one because that's not the right one I see that's the back end of the um, um, the website and um, yeah so she's gonna sort that link out for you so do have a look at that and you can still join into the fun uh, I, I was quite nervous like going on zoom at first but it, it, uh, it has been really it has been fantastic it's been really really good can you put up events for next week please what yes we're gonna uh francis we're gonna be working on that what is sarah doing tomorrow it's tomorrow she's working so she's doing something with peanut beads um i haven't seen the project myself molly's been setting it up because we've been doing the usb and everything else was taking over in the last like <laughs> month in our life um, now we are really catching up and doing everything sort of really i want to work like 
couple of months in advance but let's see hopefully by january january everything will be back to normal and we we can work on on the back end for us like putting events on and and you know telling you what we're doing and like giving materials lists for big clubs and everything else so by january i want to be like over a month ahead but at the moment like we're just trying to catch up with everything right so have a lovely day everybody um i'll see you on thursday in a beat club or sunday on mind or monday morning back here have a lovely day do check out the kids on the website because they only there until sunday the offer is only there until sunday and then they're gonna go back up to full price um so that's it enjoy your week everybody anything you make pop a picture up in the handmade group so we can all see it bye